broken, but your memory's intact. Well, it's running through your head like an explosion. I'm Kevin, and right behind me you can see the Osaka Loop train. So I've just taken the Osaka Loop line. So I'm in Osaka, and I'm going to meet another YouTuber, uh, Spider Murphy. And we're going to do a bit of a hike, uh, Mount Ikoma, I believe. So it's my first time, actually, I've never been hiking in Osaka. Um, so it's going to be really cool. So we're going to go hiking today. It's New Year's Eve. We're going to check out the scene. It's a beautiful day. We're going to go there. That's Mount Ikoma. Cool. The other side of that's Nara, right? Yeah. All right, cool. And here we are, time to do some hike. Most of this land, it's kind of an old bird land. Yeah. I don't know if he's got the same thing, but obviously his real estate is, is more valuable if he sold it, but he just really loves his hobby of farming, you know? Yep, that's, I mean, you see a lot of people who do that. I mean, they could put easily several buildings probably on this plot of land, but... So we're taking the back alleys, so to speak, to Mount Ikoma. So, we're practicing our hiking backwards. Yeah, like this guy coming towards us. Look, you're still in your infancy. So there we go, so that's Osaka. There's not really anyone up here except for the backwards hiker. And us. It's really cool though, there's some really big pine trees. Wow. Groovy. The Japanese wilderness. I feel so alive. Fresh mountain air. This is pretty rural. Pretty rustic. Man, they've got all the terrace rice paddies. And there's a woman working in her field, or possibly a man, I'm not sure. Down there. All the rice all piled up. That's pretty cool. I love this truck. It's definitely a fixer upper, I think. I don't know if it would be worth it though. You know, there's a lot of things you expect on the top of a mountain in Japan, and here's one of them. Miniature golf. <laughs> yep, it's good stuff. 635 meters, Manikoma. Putter golf. Putter golf. It's... Did you bring your club? I didn't! Ah, I'm a... I'm just a stupid Canadian man. <sighs> I should have known. Next time, I'll bring him this set. We're looking at about 2.30 right now. Yep. Well, look at that view. That's a wonderful view. Oh my gosh. And what is that? Is it a kite? Is it a It is. Oh my gosh. Well, here it is. And Well, look at this. Look at this. All the 350 milliliter cans are sold out. The only thing they have is the half They only have tall cans. That's, I'm, that's almost a crime. I'm not, but I, I aspire to be. <laughs> This is really creepy though on the top of the mountain. It's just like an abandoned, not abandoned, but just completely unused amusement park. There is one other human. The security guard. Uh, there's a couple of high school kids on a date. Very romantic. See, I've, I've taken out my, my toque because you know I'm from Canada because it's freaking cold up here. Got a toque on, eh? Got a toque on, eh? What's this on a boot, eh? I don't, I don't get it, eh? Oh, I love stereotypes. This is the middle of nowhere. Or mm -hmm. Nowhereville. Population, this house. So we're near the end of a trail. We've just come up 
into a Buddhist temple complex, which is in a very really quiet location. Well, this is a strange home because it's a really beautiful neighborhood and the garden gnomes really add a lot to it, I think. Oh, there is a snowman at the end of the driveway. I find the balcony. It's very, very cool day hike and it's starting to get a little bit dark and I'm back on the road on my way to Kobe. It's very cool to our never been in this park before. We're not in Osaka right now, we're actually in another city.